Commandos Mad March. Day four. Let me just do the read. All this week, the lovely, the gorgeous Miranda Hart has been travelling around the UK carrying out a daily challenge for comic relief. Today, she's in Oxford. And this morning, Chris Evans gave Miranda her penultimate Mad March challenge, staging a, a dog show. She's even been paired up with her own pooch. Well, it's not actually hers. It's a pooch for the day. It's a Springer Spaniel called Lola. Uh, she can take part in all of the rounds for this particular dog show coming up. So, uh, today Miranda has met her temporary canine chum for the day. It's this uh, Springer Spaniel called Lola. Miranda and Lola have been in Oxford South Park uh, recruiting dogs and their owners for the show. And over 200 dogs turned up. And as I say, there's this picture with her with just some of them all on different leads and they're all pulling in different directions. It's, it's brilliant. Uh, she and Lola have had an obedience class with a dog trainer. And Miranda has met, of course, with the show's compere, X Factor VO, my old friend Peter Dixon. Uh, the dog show is just moments away from starting, so I won't delay any further. How are you doing, Miranda? Hi, Steve. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm a bit confused and bewildered, but I'm still here. I'm still with it. Now, I, I love this picture I was just saying of, of you with all of these dogs, and they're all pulling in different directions, but the look on your face is fantastic. You are clearly loving it. I was so loving, but also terrified that I was literally going to get pulled along and <laughs> taken to the floor. <laughs> I think this picture is an all-time classic. I just love it. Now, tell me about the agility, because I don't know much about dog shows. What what do they have to do for the agility course, then? Well, you would have thought by now that I would know that. Yes. But w w when you find out a task at 8.15 8 in the morning, we I, I still don't know what the agility is. I've only met my dog, had a brief lesson, and recruited the dogs. That's all they've managed to do so far. Well, how is the uh, Springer Spaniel? How is Lola? I mean, have you, have you bonded? Lola's very beautiful, but uh, let's just say she's clearly got ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having much luck. <laughs> OK, I'll take that as a not much luck then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, do you know about the rounds that you'll be taking part in this afternoon? Because I, I know I'm holding up this dog show now. Uh, so yeah. uh, do you know oh, any... I'm of doing, um, we're doing Funniest Dog, which we're not quite sure what that is, but anyway. Um, uh, dog that looks most like its owner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always funny and embarrassing. Uh, dog with the waggiest tail. Yeah. Uh, fastest dog owner around the obstacle course, which we know won't be me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think that's it. So, yeah, it's an exciting time, Steve. Well, I tell you what, let me talk to Peter and find out, that, uh, you know, because I know you want to get started on that show there. So yeah. uh, is he there, Peter Dixon? Yeah, here's Peter, the voice. Hello, Peter! Hello. <laughs> How are you? It's me. Yes, very well, thank you, Steve. I was um, I was walking my my Bichon Frise around South Park in Oxford this morning, and I got accosted by this rather tall comedian. <laughs> so I find myself now in the rather enviable position of uh, commentating on a dog show. Well, when does it start, Peter? Does it start soon? It starts very soon. In fact, both of us. <laughs> Both of us are standing outside uh, Pubsy's dressing room right now. We're about to go down and face the crowds. Okay. <laughs> I, knew... <laughs> I, I knew we weren't going to be able to get... It's like the old days, isn't it? <laughs> yes, exactly. I somehow knew we weren't going to be able to get through it. So, well, we'll say goodbye and the very best of luck. Pubsy, this is your five-minute call. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, good luck, Miranda, and we'll see you on the one show tonight, yes? Yes, he <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming out, so who knows? <laughs> Here he is. Yeah. All, right, all right, stop extending your part. <laughs> OK. Uh, goodbye, everyone, and let me just go to something a little more serious. And remember, every day thousands of children in Africa die of diseases that could have been prevented with just five pounds. That's the equivalent of your morning coffee and croissant, your posh lunchtime sarnie, your journey to and from work, your Friday night vino, your Saturday and Sunday papers. And that's all this lovely lady is asking. Just five pounds. It's not much, so forget your coffee and croissant today. Pick up your phone instead and text HEART to 7005. That's HEART, H-A-R-T, to 7005 and give £5 straight to Comic Relief. 
if you do pick up your phone and text only five pounds right now, you could pay for a vaccine to help protect a child in Uganda from diseases that kill thousands of children every year in Africa. But the amazing thing is that this can be prevented with just one simple vaccination. So pick up your phone and do it now. Text HART, H-A-R-T, that's H-A-R-T, to 7005 and five whole sparkly pounds will go straight to Comic Relief. Text costing £5 plus your standard network message charge. You must be 16 or over and ask the bill payer's permission. For full terms and conditions and more information, go to the Radio 2 website. Miranda's Mad March. Day 4.